Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to replace a servo resistance motor on this Octane Q45 elliptical. It's a pretty easy job, and it actually only requires a standard screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver, a wire cutter, basically a side cutter, and some zip ties. Um, showing you just a few of the screws around right here. There are four on the top clamshell that you remove on the side. There's two on the console actually facing you where you work out. Once you've pulled those, you lift up on the cup holder like this, and you pull the entire thing backward. On the side clamshells, there are two longer screws at the base, and then there's three along the front of the actual machine. Once you've got that apart, you should be able to see the servo motor, but in order to actually remove the right side clamshell, there are two Phillips screws inside when you split that front seam. So you'll need a flashlight, but you can see them right inside here. So there's the lower one, there's the upper one, and the stepper motor is just inside behind that circuit board on the left. So uh, you don't actually have to remove this cap. I did that two Phillips screws, coarse threads. I thought I was going to have to use an 8 or a 10 mil Allen to get these off, but it turns out that side clamshell just slides down and out. This blue thing right here is the resistance servo motor. So you can see me removing the cable right now just by pulling it over to the front and pulling it out. Um, you can actually uh, pull this cable by hand to relieve that resistance pressure and put a screwdriver or something in it just to give yourself a little bit more slack. This part kind of sucks, but here is the servo motor assembly. You can see the potentiometer on the back, pausing just for the part numbers and the patent there. Um, the Q45 uses a white plug for the electrics, and the one I purchased is a black plug, unfortunately. So I'll get over, uh, sorry, I'll get through to what I ended up doing here, but essentially the motor itself was fine on mine, but the potentiometer was bad. So I ended up splitting both of the cases apart, and since the potentiometer just has little pin connectors, I was able to transfer the harness and the old motor into the new housing, and everything ended up working fine once I did that. Um, a little bit of a dumb process that I had to go through there, but it shows um, the actual motor working right now. Uh, no more error one. That was the uh, error I got before. So this is the old harness, old motor on the potentiometer. Two new zip ties in place just to keep it from binding on everything. But here we can see it's fully functional again. So thanks for watching. Appreciate you.